Hey there guys, it's me Dolphinatic and welcome to my team builder for my game versus the Baltimore Braviaries. Uh, this is week 3 of season 3 of Division 1 of the Pokemon Premier League and we are against Kelly, uh, also known as Under the Radar. Now I've already told you that we're against the Baltimore Braviaries and Kelly's team. Oh my god, it's a spooky! Uh, let me just get the list of mons he has. Don't expect any fancy graphics because I'm, I'm doing this in a rush as it is because me and Kelly have literally um, got to battle uh, today and we're already a day late so you know let's get this done as quickly as possible uh, six sorry I haven't even got the list of Pokemon that Kelly has in front of me because I only listed down uh, the six that I think he's gonna bring he has got Infernape, Azumarill, Foratris, Amoongus, Reuniclus, Alamomola, Togetic, Miltank, Flygon, Mega Manectric and Persian now the six Pokemon I expect him to bring are Infernape, Azumarill, Foratrus, Amoongus, Reuniclus, and Mega Manectric. Well, them six give me a goddamn hard time. Um, but we're going to give it a go. We're going to give it as a, well, good a go as we possibly can. Because Kelly's team is spook. Now, we've both gone to each other and said, can, can we just not play? Because, you know, we, we hate each other's teams. Um, he thinks I have the matchup. I think he has the matchup. But after team building, I maybe believe I do have like the slightest matchup advantage. Um, but we'll get to that when we uh, get to it then. So let's go look at my Pokemon this week. Uh, it's it's nice of my bottom screen to want to work. That that's very nice. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll just remove it because it's not going to work. My XSplit recording isn't working properly, and it's just very very annoying. Um, I, is there anything else I can do? Can can I do this? Will, will it work now? No, that's that's showdown. We don't want that. Uh, what about that one? Nope, that that doesn't work either. Um, maybe it's because it needs to be there. There's all kinds of horrible things going on on my screen right now. Delete, delete that. Let's try. See if this works. That that looks better. That looks a lot better. Let's uh put that in the top corner there. Now I know why that that happens because the bottom screen has to be on show or something like that. For it to work, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, because otherwise it doesn't it doesn't work. Right, this could be interesting then. Goddamn stupid OBS. Uh, you can see my six Pokemon there. No, you can't. It's probably gone green again. Anyway, I'm just faffing around and showdown. God, and this is why you need dual monitors, right? So first Pokemon, as you can see, or actually the six Pokemon we've bought are Easy Jet, uh, Megalatios, Maiden, the Skarmory, Lashana, the Florgeous, Vinto, the Heliolus, Trixie, the Zorok. And Royal Pain, the Nido King. Um, first Pokemon we have is Mega Latios. Now, I oomed and ahed about this thing for a long old time, mainly because I didn't know what variant I wanted to run. I was pretty confident I wanted to bring this thing because it takes on Infernape pretty well, for which I don't have many things. Um, in the end, I settled on a bulky offense uh, set. So it's 248 uh, HP. I don't know why I didn't put 252, but never mind. Four defense, 252 modest special attack uh, with four in special defense. And basically, this thing, he, he has no switch ins. He literally has no switch ins apart from Togetic. Um, but if I can knock that thing off, that thing dies to two side shocks. Uh, that's how disgusting this thing is. I decided to go with Draco Meteor because he has two fairies, yes, but other than his fairies, no, he hasn't got a switch in for Draco Meteor, so that's always fun. Um, Psyshock is because I kind of expected him to bring a Assault Vest, or I am expecting him to bring, rather, an Assault Vest Azumarill, um, because Choice Band could happen, but I could play around that with uh, Heliolisk, and I think he'll know that Heliolisk is quite a big threat to his team. Um, so Psyshock hits that. It also hits uh, Amoongus. Uh, I don't need to worry about hitting Alamola if he decides to bring it, because that thing just dies to Draco Meteor. Um, so basically, Psyshock, I think, overall was the best play. Um, even with, you know, Reuniclus running around, Shadow Ball still does 60%, Draco still does like 70%, so it's always nice uh, to have Stab, Dual Stab, uh, Dragon and Psychic, hits a lot of things nice. Shadow Ball was the coverage I ended up going for. Um, I did have Ice Beam originally, I can't remember why. I think I de deemed it, you know, pointless because Psyshock and Draco covered the same sort of Pokemon that would have been hit by Ice Beam. Uh, I think it was probably there mainly for Togetic, but Shadow Ball, I decided 
was more important, um, mainly because if I bought Ice Beam, Reuniclus completely shuts me down. Well, I say completely. Uh, shuts me down more than Togetic does. So I figured Shadow Ball would probably be best uh, in my best interest to bring that. And then Recover is just solid because, like I said, I am max HP. If I can keep this thing uh, healthy, it will give his Infernape a hard time. Uh, next we have uh, Maiden, Skarmory. Quite a simple set. Um, we've got Drill Peck, Roost, Defog, Stealth Rock. I am max defense, max HP, 4 in special defense. This thing is like the only thing I have for Azumarill. Um, you might be sitting here like, oh, but you have a Gastrodon. Yeah, Gastrodon max defense like takes 70% from Choice Band Play Rough. I mean... There's not much I can do. This thing is the best thing I have to take it on. It, and even then, it takes 50% from Choice Band Waterfall. It's just disgusting. But if he brings Assault Vest, uh, as I think he probably will do, uh, it only does about 30% max, or 35% maybe. So it's a good, it's a decent check. Um, but I'm very confident he's bringing a Zoom roll because it can do a number to my team big time. Um, that's pretty much made, and I've gone for leftovers because I didn't feel like safety goggles was as important this week. Um, even though he has, you know, a Moongus, it works perfectly against Venusaur, but I know Kelly will have probably seen that, but has also got a lot more experience and probably think, you know, Jack might mix it up a bit this week. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go something else. Uh, so, and plus if he does want to bring in a Moongus, Drill Pex and do decent damage. Uh, I just don't, I'm not a fan of Brave Bird on this thing because I don't want the recoil on my defensive Mon. It doesn't have a bigger HP stat. Um, but I want to keep it as healthy as possible, especially with Azumarill running around. Roos is obviously there to get rid of um, all the damage I've taken. Defog, well, Kelly has the opportunity to set up all kinds of hazards because he has a Fortress. Uh, he also has Stealth Rocks on Miltank, and I can't remember what else. I'm pretty sure it's something else. I can't remember what it was, uh, but there's something else in his team that can put Stealth Rocks up. Uh, so I was, it was in my interest to try and keep hazards to a minimum. Uh, my team in general isn't weak to rocks, um, but I didn't want him setting up spikes and toxic spikes um, and taking down uh, my defensive uh, Florgis, which does a number to his team, by the way. Uh, and Stealth Rock, well, I kind of figured it'd be nice uh, just to get some chip damage to get some kills confirmed, because like I said, well, I haven't said, um, all, my, all my Pokemon, offensive Pokemon, can just take his Pokemon down after rocks are up or put him on the back foot. So that's the main reasoning behind my Skarmory set this week. Um, he might not expect me to bring it because he does have numerous things that can deal with it. Numerous fire coverage moves and obviously Mega Manectric. But I'm not bothered about Mega Manectric because Lashana the Florgis can pretty much wall that thing. Unless he brings Iron Tail. Which I expect he might do. Mainly because his poison type is Amoongus. Uh, which can't do too much to me, mainly because I'm so bulky. Um, and his steel type is Fortress, which if he brings, I'm pretty sure it'll be defensive in some way. So I'm figuring, I, I thought to myself, right, he's going to run Gunk Shot on Infernape, because otherwise this thing also stops Infernape. Um, and he's going to run Iron Tail on either Azumarill or Mega Manectric, because if he only ran Gunk Shot on Infernape and missed that, he was going to struggle to take this thing down, so I decided that I'd run a more defensive variant. Now, excuse the bottom screen disappearing. Um, basically, what I wanted was a more defensive set because this would allow me to take on Flygon. Flygon was a huge threat to my team. Now, especially considering I made a bet with Kelly at the start of the season saying, look, Flygon won't get more than three kills against my team. And uh, if, if it did, I had to upload a video of myself crying. So I was I was like rather against that. So uh, Moonblast Protect Wish Heal Bell. Yes, I'm complete bait for Amoongus, but I have well, I have things that can take on Amoongus just fine. Um, and I'm not going to be getting this thing in on, on Amoongus anyway, because if he tries to spawn me, I don't want my Heal Bell uh, asleep. That's you know less than ideal. Um, Moonblast in general does a lot of damage to his team. Mega Manectric isn't bulky. It does about 60% of that investment. So. If I can get a moon blast off uh, on that thing while, you know, like switches in or just decides to stay in and attack me, that, that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, I am 252 in HP, 228 in defense, 4 in special attack, 24 in special defense of a calm nature. It was a, it, in my 
like opinion, it's a really good set for this matchup. Um, I know it gives Kelly a relatively hard time, so it's important that I keep this thing healthy uh, for as long as I can and keep it doing, you know, its, its supporting job. Because if it can keep my three main, four main offensive threats, but I mean Latios can heal itself up, so three offensive threats uh, in good condition, I think we'll, we'll be able to do well uh, this game. Um, leftovers on this thing as well because I didn't really see the need for any other item. Um, and HP recovery is always nice. Fourth fight one we have is Vimto. Pretty self-explanatory set. Um, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hyper Voice, Dark Pulse. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hyper Voice is just fantastic for most things. Especially for Kelly's team. And then fourth move was... Uh, it was, what what did I have the choice of? I think Dark Pulse was always, like, the main option because Thunderbolt and Hyper Voice combined can just do damage to his whole team. Um, I'm just trying to think. The only other coverage options he just gets is Focus Blast and Surf. Didn't really see the need for them. Um, Dark Pulse is something that means I can hit Reuniclus. Otherwise, Reuniclus gets scary. Plus, the flinch chance is always nice. Um, here, this is going to be very important. It's a check to Mega Manectric. So that's why I'm running Assault Vest. It takes on Alamomola. It takes on Azumarill very well. Um, what else? In general, it just hits his team hard. Now, I do outspeed Infernape, or Helios can actually outspeed Infernape by one. That would force me to run max speed. I am only running enough speed to outspeed base 100, which is Ligon. Uh, or and Miltank, um, mainly because I know if he has Infernape in against my he is, he is going to click Mac Punch. I have had this thing for a season and a quarter now, and I know what people do to try and take Helisk down. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was very confident in the fact I didn't have to run speed to outrun uh, Infernape. Um, otherwise, this thing just does number to his team. I mean, Hyper Voice, two shots, uh, Flygon, so if he wants to switch that in on, like, you know, a predicted electric move, that, that's absolutely fine. Um, I could have gone Specs, but I didn't want to risk the uh, Alamomola Flygon thing going on and Azumarill. I just needed to be able to mix my moves up. And I figured, you know, if I have Assault Vest, it's going to be able to keep Manectric and potentially the Reuniclus in some sort of order. Um, max Special Attack. I think it's 196 EVs in speed and the rest in special defense, just to make myself that bit bulkier. Because even if you do invest it in physical side, it doesn't normally help too much. Um, next up, we have Zorok Trixie. Yes, I remember to nickname it this time. Uh, knock off Night Days, U turn Flamethrower. Um, couple things about the Zorok. I originally was going to run Sludge Bomb over Flamethrower. And then I kind of sat there and thought to myself, I have nothing that can hit Fortress. Um, so I took Flamethrower over Sludge Bomb, mainly because I have a Nido King. Spoilers, that's my sixth mom, but you should have seen that already. Um, that can uh, d -d 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 hit the fairies. And what else? What else? What else? Um, Sludge Bomb. I can't, I can't remember. I've lost my track of thought. Basically... I got rid of Sludge Bomb for Flamethrower because I needed that to uh, hit Fortress with something at least. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be my dedicated lead. I'm expecting him to lead with Manectric so he can get the Mega Evolution off quickly. Uh, so he can have Intimidate and so um, he can get Speed Boost. Because it's quite important for him, otherwise he won't be taking on my walls as well. Um, but it doesn't matter in this case, I will outspeed Mega Manectric because I am Choice Scarf. Uh, Night Days does a solid amount, I can't remember how much. Um, I am naive nature because I can live one Aqua Jet from Azumarill if I'm at max health. Um, with max special attack, 28 in attack and the rest in speed, 220 I think. Um, I decided I want to hit things on the special side more with this thing. Um, and I just wanted to run as much physical attack as I could, just to make knockoff do the most it can, as well as U-turn. Um, knockoff is important. I feel like if I can knock off the Flygon, I will be okay in taking it down. If I can't knock it off, I might have a bit of difficulty with this team. Um, that's why I have Floor just the way it is. Night Days just does damage, plus has the chance to lower accuracy, which is always nice. U-turn to keep momentum, because then I have the uh, Volt Turn core going on. And then Flamethrower, as I said, for Fortress. Also hits 
uh, Amoongus, uh, which is another reason why. It's, that's the other reason why I took Sludge Bomb off. Um, if he bought in Togetic on this thing, he figured out what Zorok was. I wasn't really going to stay it anyway, because Dazzling Day will just kill me. Um, because, you know, this thing's quite weak defensively, and I have a minus special defense in nature. Um, so that's Zorok. The main reason I bought it actually was Reuniclus, um, because that thing, everyone, well, Reuniclus is so good in league format, and it, you know, it's one of the Pokemon that you know will probably set up, and you just can't stop it. Um, and Magic Guard just makes it that little bit harder. Um, but that is uh, Zorok. Final Pokemon, I've already mentioned it, is Nidoking. Nidoking is an interesting one this week. Um, I earned an R about. I was definitely going to bring it because it can just punch holes in, in Kelly's team. Um, I decided to bring a physical variant because I was pretty sure he'll bring Assault Vest, uh, Azumarill, and also Togetic is pretty bulky on the special side, so I figured, you know, physical hits are the way forward. I know if he brings out a Mamola, that's kind of problematic, but I do have special attackers in Latios and Heliolisk. So I wasn't too worried about not running Special Nido King. So I was running Poison Jab because Kelly does have two fairies. Um, Fire Punch for the Fortress. Uh, Mega Horn for the Reuniclus. And Earthquake for the Infernape. And Manectric because uh, it's, you know, powerful stab. Yeah, this thing has the potential to do a lot of damage to Kelly's team. Now, Kelly's team is quite funny in the fact that his speed tiers differ hugely. He has, like... Two 100s and 135, whatever Mega Manectric is, 45. Then it drops all the way down to like 50, 40, 30 territory. So I can just run Adamant Nido King because I'm not going to be out, excuse me, outspeeding his base 100s um, unless I put in max investment and he puts in no investment, pretty much. Um, and I don't need any speed investment. I don't need to be jolly to outspeed all his slow mons. So I figured Adamant was the way to go. So I am Adamant 252 in attack. 124 in HP, 124 in speed, and the rest in... Uh, one in uh, Four EVs in defense, four EVs in special defense, I think. With Pasho Berry. Um, this lets me live a any water type move from a non-banded Azumarill from Max. Um, and it lets me live a choice banded Aqua Jet from about so, so as long as basically I keep this thing above 80% I can live a water move from Azumarill um, which means you know I'm I'm very much expecting Azumarill to be his best way of taking this thing down uh, if he wants to bring it in on it that, that, that's absolutely fine I'm willing to trade off 80% on my Nidoking which I can heal with wish passing uh, for a dead Azumarill um, so that's the main reason why uh, I ran physical um, the coverage options are there on either side, physical and special. I just felt like, you know, physical was there uh, to do work this week. So that is the team. Um, once again, Megalatio, Skarmory, Florgis, Heliolisk, Zorok, and Nidoking. Solid team. Not happy with, like, it being, like, the best it can be, but it's the best we've got for now. We need to get this battle done. Um... And hopefully it will be as good as we hope it will want or we want it to be. So This will be up as soon as possible. And then I will aim to get the battle up as soon as possible after that. Once we've had it. And hopefully um, hopefully it's a good result for us. Because you know we are 1-1 one and one at the moment. After a convincing win against Liam last week. If we can get a win here we're going to put ourselves in really good stead. For the rest of the season. Um, if you guys did enjoy this team builder. Uh, or had any ideas. Don't. Don't be an ass about things again. I'm going to say it in every video. Don't be an ass about the sets. Suggestions, you know. Constructive criticism. Not like, oh, you're stupid because you didn't bring this. Just like, oh, Jack, next time you could consider bringing this because that, that, that's good, yeah? Not, not the trolley kind. Anyway, I've rambled on. I will see you guys for the battle soon enough. See you around.